Alright everyone and welcome back to Splatoon. I've never covered the single player content and I think it's about time I actually got around to it. I created a new account because I wanted to go through the tutorial again. Choose an inkling, girl or boy. I've been playing as a girl up until now. And I'll keep playing as a girl because why not? I kind of want to play as the canon hero design but I can't remember exactly what it is. I, I guess it's this color maybe and green eyes? Maybe? S something like that. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. We can always change the look of the inkling later on. However, yeah. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Wanna be the freshest squid on the block? We'll teach you some funky fresh moves on the way to Inkopolis. Just to shoot tank with ZR. Pop the balloons! Pop the balloons. Move with the left control stick. C can you do you think uh, people who play a video game for the first time will know what they mean with L control stick? Do you think they'll realize it means left control stick? I'm not sure they will. Uh, I mean, the first time I played on the Wii U, I actually had no idea that I was supposed to press ZR and ZL as often as I should have, which caused some issues on my Pikmin 3 playthrough. You all can watch it yourself if you want to see how bad it affected me. I'll reset the camera at Y. It's actually pretty uh, important because hold the gamepad in a comfy position then press Y. You'll have to do that repeatedly if you want to be MLG. Also, ZL to squid form. Did the, did the tutorial tell me that yet? I don't think it did. Okay, you told me right here. Good. I can keep doing it. D don't, don't be fooled, tutorial guy. I'm certainly not MLG already. Then again, some people still don't believe that you're MLG, even if you reach S+. You have to be S plus 99 to truly be pro, except when you aren't, then you have to be S plus 99 consecutively for 10 matches or something. Speaking of 10 matches, it took me 10 consecutive victories to actually reach S plus. I still can't believe that. Oh yeah, there's momentum while swimming. You move faster, therefore you'll jump farther. They call it a dash jump, although I would just say it's momentum based. This area is kind of neat. Like, you see, it's a sa flying saucer, right? It's a flying saucer. It comes up later in the main hero mode. Although, I suppose the saucer is not this big in the actual story mode. Uh, enemy ink is evil. It'll get stuck in ink. It's not my color, and I can only move very slowly. In multiplayer, it feels like I move even slower than this. In a way, you cannot get splatted while in enemy ink, fortunately. And you can just walk around it, honestly. Oh, and throw bombs. I actually never did that. Yay! Damn it. Climb up. We're almost in Goblet. Uh, yeah, look, nice detail right here with the Squid Sisters. Anyway, let's go to Incopolis. Oh, it's the actual title screen. Neat. I don't remember this at all. I really, really don't. It's been such a long time. Over a year now, almost. No, it, it has in fact been over a year. Yay. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling Mary I have something special to say because... New slash, new slash, what is it? What is it? Incopolis's great zapfish has vanished! Wait, seriously? If it isn't recovered soon, are we gonna lose power? Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Probably. I wonder if it has anything to do with that UFO crash. Sounds likely to me. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's it, really? That's it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they used to say, how are we going to do Splatfest if we don't have power or something like that. Uh -huh. The game feels empty now. What a shame. What a shame indeed. Um, I, actually, when I will eventually do multiplayer battles uh, with this account, I'll be using blasters as soon as I can. Because blasters are... Oh yeah, this guy. Uh, blasters are the only type of weapon I haven't done a tip video for, and I want to, at the very least, if I have to, end the tip series with 
me covering at least every type of weapon. You know? Anyway, you do need a Nintendo ID to be able to play online battles, right? That's why I assume. If, if, if I don't, I actually won't bother making another Nintendo ID with this uh, new account. Anyway, let's start the single player mode. Hi. The, the, the Octarians are coming! Oh, uh, hi. Guess I lost my cool for a minute there. I'm Captain Cuttlefish, leader of the legendary Squid Beak Splatoon. That look in your eye. It's the look I've been looking for. The great Zapfish that powers Encopolis has been squidnapped. Nobody believes me, but it's the work of the Octarians. I just know it. They want revenge for the Great Turf War of 100 years ago. I've been keeping an eye on them this whole time, of course. But they stole the Great Zapfish right out from under my nose. Please, you gotta help me rescue the Great Zapfish. So, I'm gonna take your silence as a yes. Starting today, you are Agent 3 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon. This is your brand new hero suit. It'll help you fight the Octarians. Oh, wow, I... I completely forgot that I'm going to have to upgrade the suit. Hmm. It's going to take some time. What a great fit for a hand-me-down from Agents 1 and 2. Hmm, I wonder who those could be. Well, let's go get those Octo Jerks. I'm counting on you, bucko. Uh-huh, now we can actually start the single-player mode. Already. Ain't that neat. Shoot ink with ZR. Huh. I can shoot it at you. He's fine with it. He's just going to get rid of the ink by himself when he needs to. See? Yeah, I remember not listening to him the first time. Shoot ink, and that's all I read. Uh, he also says, shoot ink to reveal the Octarian layers. Like this one. See? Level 1. Right here. Octo, Octo Trooper hideout. Catch that zap fish. We're gonna do it later. I, do, I just want to check something right now. Hi. Do you two recognize me? Are you just nice? I wonder. Yeah, huh. They're just nice. I was kind of hoping they would only do that animation after you've completed the single player mode, but... Eh, they're nice to all their fans. Okay, let's go ahead and rescue the Zapfish. There's actually quite a few Zapfish that we have to rescue. The one that we absolutely want to find is a great zapfish, but we're going to have to find the mini zapfish first. Yeah, is this, is this a canon look of Agent 3? There was a trailer with uh, like uh, the first uh, showing of the story mode, and it was a girl inkling with the green, uh, you know, uh, color. And I can't remember what other like skin color and eye color she had. Hey. What? I know it's a destructible, but I should be able to swim up this thing. Eh. Hopefully in Splatoon 2 you'll be able to swim up everything that's covered in ink. Uh -huh -huh. Also, maybe the Octolanes will be playable. These are Octarians, not Octolanes. We should know the difference. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna try to spare as many Octarians as I can. However, I still want to destroy these things. We're gonna play this like a stealth mission. Ah, top! Nope, you, just, you saw nothing. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. They're really not all that tough to deal with. So, yeah, this is probably why I can get away with this. Because dealing with the Octarians, stealthing around them, not hard at all. You can also get tons of checkpoints. Uh, unfortunately, some enemies I will have to destroy because they... They have keys or the next uh, checkpoint is not gonna activate until I destroy them. Or rather kill them, I should say. Uh, these eggs slash orbs, you want to collect them if you want to be able to upgrade your suit or weapons, everything really. Can I throw bombs? Yes, I can. 
So yeah, not in here until... Yeah, I had to kill that one. Unfortunately. Can do some more stelting around though. Collecting all the eggs. I'll kill in as little Octarians as I can. Uh, don't want to blow my cover. Come on. Uh, oh wait, this one is the one with the key hidden in one of the crates, right? Yeah. You'd think these Octarians would pay more attention to, like, the green ink all around their own ink, but uh, nope, they, they don't. Maybe in Splatoon 2 they'll be smarter. Assuming they appear in Splatoon 2 at all. Uh, they probably will. I expect lots of reused resources for sequels. Any sequel. Uh, and I think I actually do have to defeat them. Okay, that's one. Two. Three, yeah. Come on, Nintendo. In the sequel, I better be able to just stealth around all of these jerks. Because they are partially jerks, even though they have their own lives. Oh, I remember this. I was actually stuck here for quite a while. You just throw a bomb over here, then attack it from behind. That's all you gotta do. And here, they want you to distract these, but really, just kill them however you want. This one, no defenses. This one, bomb here, and you destroy it real quick. Sorry if I'm taking too much of my time, but I want to enjoy this while I can. I really, really do. Uh, hmm. For the first video, I actually wanted to go ahead and complete the entire first world, but it's... With the way I'm playing right now, it's gonna take way longer than expected. You, just, you saw nothing. You saw nothing. Oop. Nope, you saw nothing. You saw nothing. Bye. Yeah, so there's some scrolls around uh, this, uh, this story mode. You want to collect them. Because they give you tidbits of the story. Yay. Wish you could dance. Oh, wait, I have to kill them all? Ah, uh, whatever. Bye, bye, bye. Went on a murderous rampage. It also takes like three hits from their attacks for you to actually be splatted. Mm, I should also practice. Oh yeah, yeah, there's also this. You're gonna want that armor. Yeah, it makes you look much neater. Hmm. Maybe I should set myself up for a new challenge. This time, use as <laughs> use the least amount of ink from your own weapon as possible. It's possible to spread your own ink around by walking, you know? Jump, jump, jump. Hi. Didn't even notice me, seriously. I'm right behind you. There. Finally, took them long enough. Ooh, wait, can I use their own shots? Yeah, I can! Ooh! That adds some neat possibilities. Using the shots of these uh, Octarians in order to actually be able to pr proceed through the... Uh, stage without shooting yourself. Yeah, that would be really cool. A challenge like that. Anyway, we need the key. We'll try to get it without defeating a single Octarian. Yep. Come on. Here we go. And get me out of here. Bye. You see nothing. And here we go. Didn't have to kill a single Octarian this time. The first stage is particularly long, now that I think about it. it introduces you to a lot of uh, gameplay elements, and there's nothing wrong with that. I don't believe I have to kill these Octarians, I just have to find the key in the crate over there. Yay. Gimme. Oh, I've collected. C come on! Ah, too lazy not to just shoot all er everywhere I want. But I'm just trying to challenge myself because I could complete this in like a minute or so if I really, really wanted to. Now, there's a trap once you go to that locked door all the way over there, unfortunately. New enemies! And the one right there is particularly aggressive. Fortunately, I could just ignore it, so it's okay. These look like the Rainmaker's shield, but unlike the Rainmaker's shield, you can blow it up instantly using a grenade. Catch that Zapfish. Yep, and you get a bonus for ending with armor and a uh, special. There, there was no special to collect, unfortunately, in this uh, 
first stage, but there was armor. Oh, also, this is a scroll I found. Since time immemorial, a rare type of electric catfish known as the Zapfish has been prized by Inkling Society as a source of energy. In fact, the, after, the entire city of Inkopolis is powered by a single 100-year-old great Zapfish! Um... <laughs> The amount of scrolls that you can find kind of spoils the amount of stages that you can play, but oh, that's okay. That's okay. Well, I was going to complete the first roll in this video, but we're going to keep him short. Next video, I'm going to go ahead and complete, at the very least, these two stages and maybe the boss as well. Also, as a last tidbit, here's where you can upgrade or unlock stuff. Unfortunately, I cannot afford anything right now, so that'll be for another video. Hope you've all enjoyed this one so far and hope you all have a nice day. Bye-bye.